Welcome to Electro Online. Nothing like an example to show you how the previous video actually makes sense. So here we have a similar situation, but instead of using general symbols, we're going to use actual values for the resistance, the inductance, and the voltage supply. We're going to try to find the current and the voltage, the current through the inductor and the voltage across the inductor. Of course, we need to find some basic things first. We need to find the current right before the switch opens. Notice before the switch opens, the current flows through both resistors. When the switch opens, the current will bypass the second resistor, so there will be the one resistor in the circuit. So before the switch opens, you have both resistors in the circuit, and then you end up with V over R. In this case, that would be the voltage, 10 volts, divided by the total resistance. Uh, that would be, oh, that's not 10 volts, that's 20 volts. 20 volts divided by the total resistance of 4 ohms, which is equal to 5 amps. So that is our initial current through the circuit. Now the switch opens up, and because there's an inductor in the circuit, which opposes the change in the current, the current through the circuit right after the switch opens is exactly the same as the current in the circuit before the switch opens, because the inductor will prevent from a from step change of the current. So therefore, you can say that the, the current at time equals zero is the same as right after the switch opens versus right before the switch opens. So this is going to be equal to also 5 amps. Now, the resistance, when time has elapsed after the switch opens, will now just be the 1 ohm resistor in the circuit. So that's equal to 1 ohm. And so the current, after a certain amount of time, has elapsed, and the inductor no longer has a role in the circuit because now we have steady state current flowing through the circuit. We now have V divided by the new resistance. In this case, this is 20 volts divided by 1 ohm. So now you have 20 amps of current in the circuit. So after the switch opens, the current changes from 5 amps to 20 amps. Of course, it doesn't do that instantaneously. The time constant is the inductance divided by the total resistance after the switch opens up. So this will be equal to 0.5 henrys divided by the total resistance of 1 ohm, which is equal to 0.5 seconds, so a half second time constant. And now we're ready to find the current in the, in the circuit, which is the same as the current through the inductor, by using this equation right here. So we can see that the current as a function of time is equal to current after steady state has been reached, which is 20 amps. Plus, now we take the difference between the current initially, which is 5 amps, minus the current after steady state, which is 20 amps, times e to the minus t over tau. Now tau is 0.5, so divide by 0.5 gives you 2, so it will be minus 2 times t. And simplifying this, the current as a function of time will be equal to 20 amps, and that would be uh, minus 15 amps, multiply times e to the minus 2t. So that will be the current through the circuit, which is the current through the inductor, as a function of time. Well, we also know that the voltage across the inductor will be equal to the inductance times the change in the current over time. Notice that the voltage will be directed in the opposite direction as the voltage supply, because it's going to oppose a change in the current. And so then what we need to do is find di dt, so the voltage as a function of time is equal to the inductance. The inductance is 0.5. Multiply times the change in the current with respect to time, the derivative of this. So the derivative constant goes to 0. And the derivative of this, we have minus 2 times the minus 15. That gives us a plus 30 times e to the minus 2t. So you can see that the voltage as a function of time is therefore equal to 15 e to the minus 2t. Now take a look at this for a moment. If time is equal to 0, e to the 0 is 1, that means the voltage across the inductor will be 15 volts. So initially, there will be 20 volts coming out of the voltage supply, or, volt, or should be across the voltage supply. Of course, voltage doesn't come out of anything. It's simply across the terminals of the, the voltage supply. And here, Initially, before the switch opens up, there'll be zero volts across the inductor. The moment the switch opens, immediately there'll be 15 volts across the inductor, plus to minus here. And then as current continues to flow, the current will change from the initial 5 amps 
to 20 amps as the inductor will fight less and less against the change in the current as it becomes as the change diminishes and eventually the voltage across here will be zero and then you have a full 20 amps of current flowing through the circuit you can see as t becomes large v across the inductor and i should probably go v sub l because it's the voltage across the inductor will go to zero after a certain amount of time has elapsed so if we draw a diagram of voltage across the inductor as a function of time it starts at 15 volts and it diminishes to zero over time notice we can write it as a positive voltage if we remember that this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal and we know that the voltage is going to fight the supply and as far as the current is concerned we start at 5 amps let's see here the initial yes the initial current is 5 amps the final current will be equal to 20 amps and you can see that the current will increase from 5 amps to 20 amps as the resistance decreases the current will increase and go from 5 to 20 amps and that's how we figure out the specifics about the current and the voltage in an RL circuit as we have a sudden change either in the applied voltage or in the applied current and that's how it's done.